So in our trip, the next thing that was in our in our itinerary was actually to travel to Stavanger. Now, at first, we were going to drive through Kristiansand and then make it to Stavanger, which would have been like a nine-hour uh, drive. Uh, but uh, it so happens that renting a car in Norway is actually incredibly expensive, especially right now when car prices uh, are really off the roof uh, worldwide. So uh, we decided to buy an airplane ticket instead and just fly from Gardenmoen again uh, to Stavanger. So we returned from uh, the Thun, Oslo Fjorden and San Virka back to Gardenmoen. We took again the flight again and we got there on time. Everything was perfectly on point. Uh, so we made it, I believe we the, this flight was through Norwegian, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we flew Norwegian from Gardenmoen to Stavanger. Uh, we landed in Stavanger. Uh, we bought a couple of souvenirs at the, uh, at the airport in Stavanger. It so happens also that once you land in Stavanger, the airport is also about 30 to 20 miles away from the city itself. So if you're gonna travel and go to Stavanger, uh, also keep that in mind. Stavanger is incredibly beautiful. It's a city um, also close to the water uh, with very colorful houses, very colorful architecture and a magnificent structure. So I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite places. As a matter of fact, uh, Anjali asked me if there was a place in Norway where you would uh, go to live and stay out of all the places that we went to and Stavanger certainly um, gets the nut for me, uh, gets my vote. Um, it was incredibly peaceful. There were very few people again in the streets. Um, so, uh, and at the same time, it was incredibly idyllic. It was kind of like stepping into this magical village where um, you see a tourist here and there, but, uh, and you see a local here and there, but they're just minding their own business. If you're sitting in their corner, they're enjoying their coffee, they're enjoying their food. Also, we saw a lot of different restaurants, very diverse restaurants. There was a lot of Indian food. Uh, there was Kore uh, Korean offers. Um, we decided to eat at a chicken place that was actually incredibly new, and not only new, uh, no one had reviewed it before. Um, I'm, I'm a big Yelper. I'm a member of the Yelp elite. Um, and uh, I was the first one to actually review it um, and the food again was amazing um, even though we also tried to get some street food but at the same time they were only taking cash and at this point we had not taken any cash out uh, we decided to also at that moment go and get some cash out and then we found that chicken place and we decided to stop there um, so um, what else? Uh, we decided to also go to some little bars in the in the middle of the colorful uh, streets that you find in Stavanger. Um, we met some really cool people and great people who talked to us about the city. Uh, and then we decided we were only there for one day, which um, forced us to maximize as much as, much as possible. Uh, 
our uh, our time there.
And so um, we decided that we needed to go to uh, the place where the swords were actually uh, located, which is one of the most uh, enigmatic and most prominent features of this region. Uh, so it so happens that if you're planning to go there, keep in mind that it's also kind of like between the airport and the city itself. So you're going to need a taxi ride or you're going to need a car in order for you to drive from Stavanger itself to where the swords are located. Um, so it's not like it's going to be right there, right next to the city. Um, it's by the beach, so it's a little bit farther away from the city itself. So definitely plan for that. It's not something that you can just hop in and get to right away or a location that you can walk to. Um, because again, it's a little bit far away from the city. So I believe we called the taxi from the hotel um, and uh, the taxi took us there. We saw a lot of uh, cruise uh, ships that were actually stopping by Stavanger, a lot of uh, British as well as Spanish uh, visitors. Uh, there were a couple of Germans here and there, but mostly were actually Spanish and Brits who were stopping by. And that was, um, yeah, quite interesting. Um, not a lot of Americans. Um, we were probably the only ones there. Uh, but either way, it was uh, a great experience. 